hi friends this window we have uh, we are moving our mouse over it and mouse have different buttons left click right click and all double clicks and we can move the mouse we can enter area was this when I am clicking in particular area its X and Y position are read it and they are displayed now I am clicking in another area that X and Y uh, coordinates are displayed any anywhere I can click the respective X and Y coordinates of the window are displayed. Now all these events are associated with the mouse. So it can be a left click, uh, left mouse button click or right mouse button click or it can be a double click or it can enter into area or it can leave the area. We will learn all about this. This is our uh, blank window and uh, we have a particular size 615 width and 400 height we have taken and uh, here I will just paste a label here you can see this is a, just a kinder label so in that to display the text is written where actually we will uh, show our dimensions and all and this background is yellow and slightly bigger font we are used this is 22 we can slightly increase it to 26 also then this we have placed it on a grid on row 0 column is 1 so it, it's at the topmost and instead of flushing it to the left edge we are given a pad x 10 and uh, to the from the top edge it is pad y is 10 so this much gap we have given now we'll just save it let's just see how this window looks it's a blank window we are not added anything to this here is our to display whatever you are written we'll replace with our message here in part one we'll see all the mouse events and in part two we'll go for the keyboard events so for that let's start with my underscore w this is my parent window many places it is written as root here at the line number 2 we have declared my underscore w so this we are binding so we will say bind anything any event is to be bind so this particular method we are using which one we are binding we are binding button 1 so button 1 is the left button it can be uh, given as button press 1 also or simple 1 also but we have to this uh, was this less than and greater than symbol we are using so we will say button dash 1 close it so now it is the left mouse click I am telling so I am saying whenever the left mouse click is pressed what it should do it should my callback this is a function I am calling but I have, so far I have not written that function I am just going to write it here so what I will do I will just write that function my callback I will take the event as the parameter here and come to the next line here I will write what I want is where this button has clicked the on the on our window that coordinates to be displayed so for that and where it is to be displayed it is to be displayed in our this label this label is L1 so L1 label or the text on the label whatever is I will replace with the this coordinate so I am saying L1 dot config I am changing the one of the attributes of the uh, label attributes anything by using config you can change any attribute of it so I am changing the text text is what is the string written over that label that I am changing that I am setting it to a new value what I am saying click that you, this is a string only now I, I will be taking the x and y values from the event so I will say that's a separate I, I cannot keep it within the quotes because that's the data I am printing the value so I will say event dot x this will give me x coordinate now plus but something this is gives me an integer I will just give a space here okay so here I am similarly I will say plus I am giving a comma in between so be, because there are uh, uh, two these things are there uh, event x and event y so in between I am giving a gap plus now I am saying after this event y but here is one issue because this events x and event y are integers and they are to be added to a string so I have to convert it to a string so what I will do I will say str this will convert a uh, integer to a string so this again str so both I am converting to string now because it's a string addition that's all so now this will give me clicked at then value of x converted to string then value of y converted to string so that should display so let's just save it and run let the window here so uh, this is the you can see here you can where it is 
yeah the label the default text is here line number six now i am clicking at one position click that one 444 and 114 this is whenever i am clicking the left mouse click so i am clicking in another place wherever i am clicking it is picking up the coordinates how these coordinates are measured is from left edge and from the top edge x is from the left edge and y is from the top edge for our understanding let me write the comment here i'm just written it so it is button press one also i can use it instead of button one or simple one so this with the note that there are this less than and greater than symbols i am used it so let's just go for an hour i'll copy this and paste it here same callback i'll be using let me give a gap here so you can see it here so button 2 is the center button or that will uh, in, in in our mouse so whatever based on your hardware now that will track it i have commented the original the first one left click now the second one so i have just run it here it is now left button click or right will not work but I, whenever i am clicking the middle button then the position it is recording wherever i am but i am now clicking the center button so that's one now let's move to right mouse click so i'll just copy this paste it here show button three three means same callback but at this i will comment it now let's see i am going to click the right mouse click right button so i have clicked the right button here here right button wherever i am right button clicking it is going that way now that is right uh, okay these are the three button clicks we have seen now i am commenting this also now what happens when i have uh, when the mouse uh, button is pressed and it moved then only it should do so for that i will write it b1 motion now what motion so this is moving i am saying whenever this mouse is pressed and moved or it is in the hold mouse is in the hold and moved that time so dynamically it will show and the same callback function i am using so let's just copy this sorry i am running this now clicking has no effect okay i have double clicked it so let's just uh, i am just holding it and moving it now wherever i am holding it mouse left left button i am press kept it pressed condition i am moving so wherever it is the xy coordinates it is showing let's close let's comment this line also now what happens might it should trigger when my button left button is released I, I it should not be on when it is pressed so for that let's just press it again now let's make it button release one button here i will say release one okay what will happen now let's just see run this where is okay the previous one i didn't close i think yeah let me just see this okay it has opened now now button release i have pressed it now nothing is happening i am dragging it dragging it released so wherever i am released that is the point it is telling again i am pressing pressing holding uh, my left button is pressed released it whenever i am releasing this uh, this callback function is called so that's one now let's start double click understanding so this event will trigger when there is a double click i'm just pasted it i will comment this line now here so double click i have to write here double even i can go for triple click also triple i have to write button which one i'll give it to button one okay this one two three you can keep on changing and experiment all the events with different different set of buttons i'm just giving you only the double click of left button so i have written one two means middle three means the right button so let's run this now yeah i have a single click i am doing sorry it's a double click my mouse is operating that way okay now here i am change the position no no effect single one more click double click it has the effect now single click now again single click no effect here let me double click it it is a double click so this is how we can do the left double click now one more thing we'll learn when the mouse enters 
mouse enters means I am commenting this it enters to a particular widget or a particular area when it enters you want to trigger it similarly when it leaves now for that if it is by default it is already on the window so we will not able to uh, see the difference so I will say that whenever it enters to that label let's you trigger that so instead of giving the parent window I am giving L1 so when my mouse enters into L1 trigger this event so what I am do I will write it enter this is not enter key this is meaning is when mouse enters into that so here okay we all know that will it will write it so instead of that I will write a another uh, uh, function another way I will write a single lighter using lambda so I will say sorry here let me delete this I will say lambda e I am not using that function we though it is another way of using the same function but I am exclusively writing in a one liner so e1 config now here I am config what I will be writing I will be configuring the text again the same thing but this time I am saying welcome okay so this this line I am not calling this line number four callback anymore I am just writing it here so let's save this and running it here okay now the my mouse is outside I am moving it has changed to welcome but when I am moving out can I trigger it yeah we'll see that so when the my mouse moves out so what I will do I will just copy this and press it here so instead of enter I will say leave here when the mouse moves and I will say thanks so now both the events let it be there so I am not commenting it so first time when it comes it will say welcome when I am going out it says thanks so one more event that is another is the mouse wheel event you can same callback we can use it also let me comment this to whenever mouse wheel is rotated not pressed that is pressed is button 2 I can just copy this one anyone I can so I am pressing it here here I will write it wheel mouse wheel so I am calling the same one but note that when mouse wheel is rotated so I am my underscore I, and this is the event is binding to the parent window my underscore w not to the l1 so I am running it let's see how this works here it is I am rotating the oh yeah I am because moment I am started rotating this one mouse reading has come up I am keeping it in another location now started rotating so this is how because the moment I am wheel I am rotating this event is trigger that's all friends next we'll move it to what are the keyboard events different keys enter key escape key all those we will learn and I request you please subscribe to our ch channel and press the bell icon so you'll be notified when you uh, post the new new videos and one important thing is if you have any doubt suggestion question or any ideas you use the comment section below and post it based on that we'll try to change or we'll add the script also and please subscribe and share it with your friends and thank you for watching